Hi, I'm Manahon and this is Knedli. Today we are going to show you the first steps at our server, mainly for the very beginners. Hello all Minecrafters and train and maze lovers, here is Madhon with Knedlik and today in third episode of our series we are going to show you the very first steps at our server mainly for people who are new to either Minecraft completely or at least our server train maze land. So the first thing when you connect to our server to do just like on any server is to post a greeting to other players. You do this by writing hey or hi or any kind of greeting that you like. Many people coming first to our server, the first thing that they do after saying hello is that they either ask for op or they ask how they can be admin on the server. This is really not the way to do it. You will never get op on our server but you don't need it. Also asking for being part of staff when you join the server for the first time is not a good practice. It doesn't work that way in real life either. If you go to a company, you cannot start as a president of the company. When you start in a low position, then you can build your career. So the first thing to do on, on the server, and this works for most servers, not only this one, is that you go to read the rules because the rules are a law on that server. In Trainman's land, the rules are on this blue wall. The blue ones are in Czech, the green ones are in English, but they are the same rules. So read them very carefully and make sure you follow the rules, because if you break the rules, people who play on the server will not like you, and if uh, an admin sees you breaking the rules, they will kick you off the server. If you are new to the server, as a guest, you start with a survival mode. So you don't have anything in the inventory and you have to find a way how to get some materials, some tools. And the easiest way how to get the tools is to buy them with the money. On our server, we have economy working and you can use the balance command to check how much money you have. When you start as a new guest, you have $1,000, but there are taxes applied, so the money will quickly disappear. The easiest way for a newbie to get money is to win a prize for doing a maze. What's important is that even maze land, where you can find mazes, has its own rules. So you have to read the rules first before going to maze because if you break the rules, other players will not like you. So now let's dive into the maze and we can start wandering. Once you find a finish in a maze, you will recognize it by seeing this sign with a big finish title. And below that, beneath that sign, you will find a sign with a password to get the prize. If you're lucky and I, Madhon, am on the server online, you can just pass me the password using the tell command. It's important to use the tell command because otherwise you reveal the password to everyone and that's breaking the rules. If I am online, you can just send the password to me using the tell command and I will give you the prize. You will not see any message from the server, but I will tell you I have given you the prize and you can check with the balance command to see that your balance has increased. Now you can go to the shop and buy some material or some tools. It's good to go to the shop immediately because otherwise you will lose the money by paying taxes. So we will use the spawn command to jump back to spawn and go to the shop to get some most important tools. We don't need sword now, 
but we'll definitely need an X so um, we can get a good one but no this is too expensive so I'll get some I'll get a stone X and a pickaxe will be best to get the best one so that we can mine some nice materials so we'll buy this one for five hundred dollars and we still have three hundred left so let's get also these signs these are very important because you will need them to uh, apply for a membership so now I have the most important stuff and I can go to mine something so the next land I will visit is train land where it's best to mine materials and start getting something in building. You can start mining here but it's important to know that there are places like this spawn where it's not allowed to mine. You can try it but uh, that's breaking rules and fortunately it's protected here but there are other places which are not protected but mining materials where it's not allowed is breaking rules and it's not good so here I'm going to train my train land where I can mine some stuff and just few steps from from the entrance there are these mines for some interesting materials such as this lapis lazuli or we can go to the next mine and find some maybe diamonds everyone likes diamonds in minecraft right yes this is a diamond mine it's quite difficult to get out of this mine uh, but we can use the spawn command so i'll just mine the diamond blocks now diamond R and use the spawn command to get back because I'm in a hole many players coming to our server when they see the mines try to mine um, dirt or something to make it easier to get out of the mines by building steps but if you mine, if you mine um, dirt or grass here, that's not allowed. This is not your land, and this mining of dirt somewhere where it's not allowed, that's called griefing. It's it's quite easy to get material this way. For example, if you want wood, you can just break a building, but that's the worst thing you can do that's griefing someone else's building and that's breaking rules of the server so see what happens if you try to do it now I have been kicked by admin for griefing that's the worst way to break the rules don't do it ever because if you do it you will not be welcome on any server not just ours so if you want to mine some materials if you want to get some wood the best way is to go to the nature find some woods some trees outside of the city like here and you can just use the eggs and cut the tree that is the right way to get wood if you don't want to buy it so don't grieve buildings don't break something that someone else has created go to the nature we have unlimited unlimited world so you can go very far and mine the material somewhere out somewhere outside of the city now i have some material so that's already enough to start playing building something somewhere but if you want to build something on our server you have to be a member because if you're not a member then you have no protection there is no guarantee that someone else will not break the building because you cannot own land to be able to own land on our server you have to first become a member so let's go to the office and see how you can apply for a membership this is the 
A team office or staff office and the first room in it is for member application and that's here's another mistake many people do when trying to apply for membership they confuse a server membership with staff membership so in this room you only apply for a server membership you're not applying for a position in the staff team so this was not the right thing to do the only thing you have to put on the wall is your name that way you tell the staff that you're interested in becoming a member on this server and as soon as the staff member finds the sign and finds you online you can then be examined for becoming a member the main thing to do before being examined is to learn the rules because what the staff member is asked to do when examining you whether you can become a member is to examine whether you know the rules and watch you whether you follow the rules whether you don't break them now I will show you how you can apply for how you can be examined when you see um, an admin owner or uh, moderator online on the server you can ask him to examine you for membership now Knedlik is examining me asking me to write at least two rules to verify that I know them the exam doesn't look always the same the admin can ask you for three rules two rules whatever and even after you write the rules properly you don't always have to become a member immediately because he has to watch you whether you follow the rules once the admin decides that you can be a member you will see this blue sign saying that your group has changed and once you write something in the chat you will see in front of your writing that you are a member now so now I am a member on the server and I want to build something the best thing to do next is to go to this building relations and find some city where I can buy a land to build my own house so on this wall you will find verbs to some cities where there are lands available for purchase each city uh, belongs to some server member it doesn't have to be a staff member but uh, there is a person who got uh, granted the right to build a city so once you enter the city you can find out whether there is a land to purchase and you can ask for the land or and buy it with the game money so this is basically uh, how to start on our server and how to become a member and get a land to buy and start building your own appearance on the server keep in mind that this server is Czech and English server so don't worry you don't have to understand everyone here but respect that the server is bilingual so don't worry that some people speak the language that you don't understand now one more thing is sometimes when you try to connect to our server you can see the server is full it will not let you connect it's hosted by lead servers and it needs credits to be able to allow more users if you want to help us to allow more than five users at the same time uh, you're very welcome to donate 4000 credits for additional five user slots for half a year important thing is don't confuse this with the game money it's not the same in game you use dollars but these credits are bought by real money and you do that in a different app which is called lead copayments on iOS or lead donations in, on Android So let me show you how to donate credits to our server. You launch the lead copayments app and here you have to enter your in-game username so that we know who donated the credits 
and you enter the server name trainmainsland.lead.cc and there you can choose how many credits you want to donate to our server and just buy them in the app. So that's it for now. You're now ready to start on our server and we look forward to seeing you as a member. See you in the next episode.